Hey everybody, so it's a new vlog. Well, my boyfriend and I are going to a Sunday brunch date. So we're gonna hit up a BYOB brunch spot and then we're gonna go to the movies, either seeing Endgame or what was the other one? Detective uh, Pikachu? Detective Pikachu. Yeah, there's been a lot of movies we wanted to see recently, like Little Us, what else was on before that's no longer out? There was another Captain one. Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel has limited, limited movie times now. But there was another one. And I'm really excited about this brunch spot because we've been trying to have a brunch date for like the past month or two. Cal's gonna be excited that mommy's home. Yeah? Are you happy mama's home? Hey, baby. Hey, hey. Why are you ignoring me? Excuse you, sir. Yes, you. Can I have you? <laughs> so, like for the majority of people, Sunday nights are for Game of Thrones, but also Sunday nights or Sundays in general are for catching up on Fairy Tale. I really love watching animes. I didn't get into fairy tale when it first came out. I actually got into it originally in like 20, 2015. Oh, um, my roommate Sam told me about it and I've been hooked ever since. And I knew there was a hiatus when the seven years passed and and the new arc started. But I didn't have to wait out that hiatus because I started it afterwards. So I've been anxious to keep up with the new seasons. This is the last season. Ah. Hiro Mishima, like if I ever see him at a Comic Con or an Anime Expo, if I see he's on the guest list, I would freaking go just for him. Because Fairy Tale is such an amazing anime. But yeah, Fairy Tale, I know what to expect. I'm on episode. I'm on episode 32, so I, I'll try not to leave any spoilers, but I, I kind of know what to expect from this episode or this fight somewhat. Um. Whereas Game of Thrones, last episode, this is the last episode of the season and I'm honestly just like waiting to watch it to get it over with rather than actually excited to see the actual episode because I was just so disappointed by last week's episode. I just feel like it was very out of, sudden and kind of out of character. <laughs> Wait, why are you trying to drink? Because it's gonna be a shitty episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah. It's gonna be like there's an hour and twenty minutes, that's it to end all of this. It's not It's gonna be it's gonna, disappointing. It's like, let's just get this over with. That's how I feel too. But fairy tale, <sighs> so emotional. So earlier I said I kind of knew what to expect. Bullshit. They throw a curveball like that at you. Cause she thought I was trying to say people. No, I said Game of Thrones had the chance to pass Breaking Bad, but they fucked up this season. And you know what? You just can't be Breaking Bad anymore. It's too late. You fucked up. You went too far. Well, it's, we were all satisfied with the ending versus like I considered Dexter being comparable, but the no. ending of Dexter was so, just so shitty. Yes. <sighs> Breaking Bad all the time. Now, if you want to talk animes, the only show that can top that list, Death Note. There is no other. So some people, apparently people who watched Code Geass first and then Death Note are kind of like left disappointed because of Lelouch. So I feel like Lelouch adds an extra dimension than Light, but also Light makes more sense because he's actually a detached sociopath, so his decisions make more sense, but then Lelouch, well, Lelouch has emotions and like empathy, like he actually connects with humanity in some sense through his decision making. Light's just being what Dexter is in anime. He's just playing the role, trying to get by, cover his ass, 
And, like, he's not sparing people's feelings because he loves them. He's sparing them for convenience and for him to hide. So, for me, I feel like you can't even compare them because I notice how different their you intentions are. Every enemy no, is I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, I, Death Note is definitely better. Will you ever watch the other Full Metal? No, I can't. I already know where that ends. It makes me sad. Yeah, because I watched it that one time and I don't think I'll ever watch it again. I can't. I can't watch that one. After what you told me how it ends, I think I think Brotherhood has a better ending. Obviously. Cause cause you feel more like complete with the ending. Alright, it's time for Game of Thrones. We got the setup. The HDMI cord. Beatsville speaker right there. Blanca's happily eating her dinner. We have Wine. Where's the uh, calamari? Okay, over here. We're going to have our finger poppers, calamari. Oh my god. I need a shot. I need a shot. How does George R.R. Martin agree to